Capricorn, welcome back to Majestic Notion, guys. Welcome. So this is going to be a reading for the rest of July. What's going on for Capricorn? What's coming towards you? How you're feeling? What's your energy like? What energy surrounds you? All right, Capricorn. So obviously, you guys already know, these are general readings, not personal. So not every Capricorn will be going through this scenario before us today. Okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. If you feel drawn to watch any other placement in your chart, like your North Node, South Node, feel free because you, you may find some messages there for some of you, if you feel drawn to that. And remember that we also have cross watchers or people that watch for Capricorn in other placements in their chart, not just the Sun. They're Sun signs, so we don't we never know who's watching here. Could be all kinds of people so the energies are interchangeable take it how it resonates for you if i'm saying you're doing this and it's the other person you know your scenario but there could be so many people watching i don't know who's who okay but we're gonna read it however it comes out here all right thank you guys so much for your likes your shares your subscriptions and all your beautiful wonderful comments all right i love each and every one of them I gotta take the good with the bad, okay? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, please hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Share, 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 and hit that notification bell for those of you who would like to know when your readings pop up. And let's have some fun. We're getting into the Tarot of Dreams. Spirit surrounds me at this time. So let's see, Capricorn, what is going on? What's going on? Mm. What am I saying? Uh oh. A little fight going on in a relationship here. A little drama. One more shuffle. Uh oh. Wow, I just got a whole little drama there. I'm just shuffling. So somebody here could be dealing with um, a Scorpio, a Taurus or an air sign I just saw like a relationship that was falling apart because somebody was lying here but that's just you know like a mini story there let's see what's happening for your Capricorn eight of wands this could be something coming at you communication somebody coming towards you to communicate um, telepathy for some of you um, and for some of you, maybe you're moving forward. Okay. This is coming from a light place. I'm very drawn to that light. Oh, I'm also getting, uh, I'm hearing solar flares. Some of you need some vitamin D. Mm hmm. Yes. Go out in the sun. We have judgment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, somebody might um, want to talk to you from the past, okay? This could be anybody. It doesn't have to be that asshole. But you might get like a phone call or a text message all of a sudden from like a friend, a family member, whoever this may be. So expect that. But they are making like a judgment call when it comes to this. So this might have took this person a while to say but they're going to say it, none the least. Yeah, you got some other things coming at you. Yeah, some, I saw you. Was, I'm very drawn to that light as Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Also, expect the unexpected. I feel like there's surprises coming. There's a lot of energy in this card coming. Yeah, you definitely have a past person could make want to make an offer could want to take you out maybe they want to spend some time with you it's gonna be somebody you've known for since childhood since high school college but um, there could be someone in specific here that you felt a deep connection with again take it out resonates it could still could be uh, you know like part of your soul tribe a, a friend family member ex 
a crush, past crush. Let's see what else we got here. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you got several things coming at you with the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. And definitely this could be a past cycle. Somebody's wanting to come back around. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, um, Leo energy. Eight of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting that card that I have somewhere in one of my decks. I might fear what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. Hmm. Yeah, you have somebody from the past that wants to uh, take you out again. I'm hearing simply irresistible. She's so fine. There's no telling when her something something. Ooh, King of Pentacles. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you have two different people here. Um, hmm. One is a past life connection. The other one is like a solid offer. Could be somebody from the past, though. Somebody you've already been with or not. What's going on, Capricorn? That could be you as well, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or another Capricorn. I also see water. Scorpio Pisces Cancer Sagittarius Oh, we got the Empress Like a moth to a flame Burned by the fire My love is blind Can't you see my or feel my desire Ah, the Empress energy You're looking like wifey And you got options People see your worth Okay, with the Empress And they want to marry you Or take you out um, you're definitely, uh, you got options. You also have, another thing is expect the unexpected. Because I see the blindfold and something big coming at you. Hey, we do have King King of Wands here. <laughs> King, King Dingling. <laughs> okay. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Uh, let's get into the Tarot of the Haunted House. Two more shuffles. I don't know why this guy is looking to me like... <laughs> what the hell? What's his name? What is his name? How could I forget his name? He's like the most sought out, sought out seasoned celebrity. What is his name? Help me out, guys. Ocean's Eleven, not Brad Pitt. The other seasoned. I can't think of his name right now. Complete blank. This is what happens when I channel. But I don't know why I'm seeing that there. Oh, okay. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. He is a Taurus. What the hell is his name? Ah, I hate when it happens. <laughs> so frustrated. Yeah, one of these people definitely could be a Taurus. They could be very attractive. Is what I'm getting. They could like to wear suits. They could be a little seasoned. Okay, we're going to play actors right now. Okay. Yeah, and the other one could be Brad Pitt kind. Sagittarius. Yeah. So you have a Sagittarius perhaps and a Taurus coming at you. What? The Sagittarius is from your past, I feel. Even though I know the Six of Cups is here, we have judgment here with this King of Wands. And I feel like the, the Taurus, for some of you, it's the past life connection. What the hell? That is so going to bother me. Like, I'm still trying to think of that guy's name. 
How could I forget? And he is a Taurus. <sighs> I hate that. It's going to bother me the whole time. And you manifested this, the magician. Mm -hmm. You're manifesting a lot with the Eight of Wands. You got things coming at you. You got surprises coming at you. You got offers coming at you. Mm, opportunities. The tower. Oh, you, I don't think you're going to like this. <laughs> not not this person. Not the King of Wands energy. I don't know. With judgment, you're going to be like, hell no. <laughs> I don't know. This might come as a shocker to you. Big time. Okay. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Scorpio is ruled by both Pluto and Mars. So King of Wands is actually 4% Scorpio. Um, again, that's Sagittarius energy. We have the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Save your money. Also, don't get too impulsive. And don't overthink. You're in manifesting mode, definitely. So don't overthink the uh, finances. Okay, don't overthink it. Uh, and don't grip on to a specific scenario when it comes to business or a career or like things you're trying to manifest here because you are already in manifestation mode there are things coming to you um, a lot because you're going to be juggling quite a few things here not just options and romance from what I see but there are other things here okay Somebody might break something because they're they're squeezing it too tight. And I see the tower and then just squeezing it too tight. Somebody might break like maybe a wheel or, or something you're fixing. Okay, let me get away from that energy. Eight of Wands again. Yeah, you're going to get communication from somebody you have a past life connection with. Or somebody in your past. This could be two people in your past for some of you. For others of you, you have a person from your past. And then a new person that you have, you're going to have a past life connection with. But they've been holding back. They could be going through something. The tower moment. What is going on? Yeah, you got a choice with the lovers. Now watch out with that. Because you know when the lovers comes up you have a dark path and a light path so I have a feeling if you have somebody from the path coming that's not the one okay yeah somebody's coming to see you three of wands in the chariot they want to take you out mm All right, let's see what's going on here, Capricorn. I don't know if I called you Sagittarius because I, I just keep seeing Sagittarius. And this person, the hell is his name? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to look this up. It's bothering me. Give me one second. can't believe I have to look this up because I know who it is. I just, for some reason, their name has escaped me. George Clooney, there we go, good lord. Doesn't that look like George Clooney, like from far away? Obviously not as attractive there, but... Yeah, you could have a Taurus coming to you, he's kind of seasoned. You know, George Clooney was quite picky when it came to women. And he's not the kind of person that got himself involved in a lot of relationships, like serious relationships. Till late in his years... And he's been with the same woman for quite some time. So, it must be love. <laughs> so, you could be meeting that kind of person, okay? Where, you know, eh, commitment, I don't know about that. 
but they are the committed type when they do commit. Um, very attractive. Again, they might like to wear suits is what I'm picking up. But they could be fun, flirty, charismatic, and seasoned. A little seasoning. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. I just got a... Okay, this person could be in the public eye for some of you. Because I just got Johnny Depp vibes. Okay, what are they here for? Let's see, Capricorn. Let's try to figure this out. Definitely somebody from the past and somebody um, new here. For some of you, it's two people from the past. But one, you definitely have a soul connection to. One more shuffle spirit. What is happening here? Let's see. I'm here to have some fun with you. Okay. Somebody's like, hmm, who am I gonna call? I remember this person. Let me let me see what they're up to. Because you know, we got the two of pentacles and so expect a message here. I haven't seen them in a while. Let me see what they're up to. I'm here to wine and dine you. Okay, this king of wands. Oh. <laughs> this king of wands, I have a feeling, has been self-pleasuring, okay, in your honor as well. Turn this person on. Uh, I'm not so sure about this king of wands. We'll come back to him. Oh, I'm a gold digger. Somebody's holding on to the coin. Who's this? <laughs> Somebody is holding on to the coin. What did I say? What? So that message was for a gold digger. There's a gold digger in the mix. Do you have three people here? Because you have a lot coming at you. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, oh my God. What did I say? I'm non-committal. Queen, uh, King of Pentacles. Yep. George Clooney was non-committal for a long time. He wasn't about commitment. Why? Because he got burnt. <laughs> he didn't have such a good time in one of his relationships, and he became stubborn, a stick in the mud, and you know thought that all relationships were going to be the same. But now look at him, right? Can't compare everybody to everybody that has hurt you or broke you or, you know, made you go through a tough time. But, hey, we all go there, you know, have to learn our own lessons. However, we have to learn them. Let's see what else we got here. I'm here to pass time. Yeah. Somebody wants to pass time with you, have fun with you. And I think they're really just looking at their options here and... They remember you. It's like, oh, I remember. He or she was a good time. Let's see what they're up to. This could just be a friend of yours, okay? So expect something. They do want to manifest it. All right. I'm here to create chaos. Yeah. <laughs> chaos with the tower. Woo! With Mr. King of Wands. Who is this? Somebody wants to bring the noise. Uh-huh. Okay, Mr. Dingaling. <laughs> okay, somebody just wants to lay it out on the table. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. <laughs> okay, let's move past. I'm not sure about this person, Capricorn, okay? Let's see who this gold digger is here. I'm here to romance you and make you mine. Okay, so we got a gold digger here on the table. Uh, you're looking financially stable is what I see. Capricorn, you know, you are the sign of the devil. Whatever you do, you obsess over. You work. You put in that work, that overtime, okay? Let's look at George Clooney over here. I'm here to pick your brain. Mm -hmm. Oh, and George Clooney is all about that sapiosexual energy, right? Where, you know, your brain is what turns this person on. Okay, we got a frog here. 
Is this Prince Charming? Okay. So, I'm getting this person has kissed many frogs. Okay, they're a little bitter <laughs> when it comes to relationships. But they want to pick your brain. They're not looking for commitment even though they're going to feel a soul bond. This person is treading with caution. They're going to play it cool, calm, and collected. They are very stable. And they're looking for mental stimulation, good conversation. And if you pass the test, well, you know, they'll take it from there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we got some characters here. All right. All right. Well, somebody here will be a very important part of your life here, Capricorn. Now, that could be your energy, Capricorn. You could be the George Clooney type personality. Okay, if not in looks or both, but personality-wise. So, let's get into the expressions of the Fall Message Medley deck. Two more shuffles. Interesting energy. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Lay it on the line. That's what I heard. Lay it on the line. I don't know why I'm hearing Super Mario Brothers. Weird. I can see you are authentic, and I love that about you. Yeah, this is someone happy-go-lucky. They're here to pass time. You know, they want to have some fun with you. This could be a friend. They see you're authentic. They want to hang out with you again. They miss you, or whatever this is. Or it could just be, you know, a random person, crush. Who knows? Okay, you got like four people here. Okay. Travel to a new destination. It's time to pack your bags. Oh, somebody's bringing some chaos. Travel to a new destination. Okay, I'm definitely getting Sagittarius vibes. This person likes to um, travel just like a Sagittarius. Sagittarius to me is like the fool card, right? No form of attachments to anyone or any place. But they like to experience, explore. So they see connections more as a, an adventure, this guy. Um, so, hey, this could be somebody new here, creating the chaos when it comes to all these connections. <laughs> like, hey, I bet you didn't see me coming. No pun intended, or, or is there? <laughs> okay, let's keep it moving. Yeah, the, the choice is yours. Follow your intuition, most definitely. You have quite a few people here to romance you and make you theirs. But watch out, there is a gold digger in the building. Okay, this is for male or female, so take it how it resonates. Let's see, Mr. Clooney, what you got going on? Ooh, so I guess you will pass the test after all. Jackpot vibrational match with I'm here to pick your brain. Are you as smart as I think you are? Let's see, because I'm non-committal. <laughs> Only commit to the right one is what I'm getting there. Okay? That's a person that's very picky. Holiday season, expect the unexpected. It's a winter wonderland. Maybe there's somebody you saw during the holidays or they saw you. And that was the last time you guys hung out. Okay, this could definitely be a friend of yours. Like, hey, how you been, girl or boy? Let's hang out again. I miss you. That's what I'm feeling here. Because I feel like you, maybe you need some time to hang out and go out. You've been indoors too long, Capricorn. I did say go outside when I saw that sun. You need some vitamin D. We got the king of wands for that. <laughs> but he's, he's, uh, he's just passing through, okay? Most definitely. He's here to disrupt the uh, the chaos. <laughs> He's creating chaos. He's here to disrupt, you know, stir things up a little in your life. It's a hair-raising experience. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> Unforgettable. They will never forget you. 
Ah. Either you will never forget this person, or I don't think you're ever going to forget this person. This person's here for a good time. But they're traveling, so this could be somebody new. Hmm. They're just here for fun, though. Don't get too excited. You have somebody here that is a vibrational match. And then you got a gold digger here. Yeah, this person will be a very important part of your life. Protective, the good kind. Now, somebody here could have dealt with a gold digger. Okay. But you do have choices. So out of these choices, you will meet someone that's a very important part of your life. I have a feeling it's that George Clooney character here. A Taurus. For some of you. Check it out. It resonates. Oh, the best lover hands down. Watch out, King of Wands. King of Pentacles. Oh, snap. They got those vibes. Vibrational match. Okay. Jackpot. So this is like a definitely soulmate energy over here. But this one, this one's coming and going. And then you got a friend that wants to hang out and have a good time. And then you got a gold digger that's holding on to you. Overthinking. Because they just want your money. Now, one of these people, you know, Mr. Clooney over here could be, um, that's why they're treading with caution. You know, they want to know. Maybe they want to know if you're non-committal. They want to pick your brain. Okay? Take that how it resonates. But they could be a little fearful because maybe they have been burnt. Just like I said, George Clooney have, was burnt before. Like we all have, but, you know, it really sent him into single stage. You know what I'm saying? For many, many, many years. And they could be afraid that, you know, they're going to get into another connection with a gold digger. So that could be it for some of you. That's some interesting energy. So they hold back out of fear, you know, because of that, because they have a lot of money. That's what I'm seeing here. We do have jackpot. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm feeling like this person is financially stable. But they're going to pick your brain if you pass the test, of course. But there's no test to pass. You guys have a soulmate connection. And I just, I don't feel it's a bad soulmate either. And they are a really good lover. That's why I'm, I'm getting Taurus vibes, most definitely. Taurus are very good lovers. They're ruled by Venus. It's that sensuality, that stamina. Yeah, somebody in the past is missing you. They might be bored. It's like, I miss the light you brought into my life. All that I am left with is darkness. Could be that king of wands for some of you. You keep me guessing, laughing, and intrigued. My eyes are on you. If I had it my way, you would be here with me right now. And someone wants to open up about how they feel. Damn, Capricorn. And yeah, you came out of nowhere for somebody. And now they cannot see you. Hook, line, and sinker. Or it's this King of Wands energy that's coming out of the blue. Alright, let's not get confused here. <laughs> wow. Damn. Okay, let's get into the Beechcraft Oracle. Let's see what else is going on here, Spirit. We got Brad Pitt and George Clooney. <laughs> Let's do two more shuffles. Whoa. Okay. Hold on one second. <laughs> That's what fell crushing on you every day. I'm more and more attracted to you. Is that even possible? Hmm. All right, let's try that again. Well, we got good soulmate, so here we go. All right, three shuffles. One more shuffle.
Just friends. So yeah, you have a friend that wants to hang out. Okay, they miss you. So that could be anybody. Doesn't have to be love interests. It's just a friend that wants to hang out with you. I guess the last time you guys hung out was around the holidays. Okay? So it's been a while. So expect a call from them. I feel I would be a nervous wreck around you. Okay. You're making the King of Wands nervous? What's going on? Yeah, you're making somebody nervous. They want to wine and dine you, though. But they just passing through. Unforgettable. They will never forget you. Hmm. There could be somebody you already wined, you know, went on a date with or something. We have maybe. Maybe. Do you feel the same? Mm, they want to know. George Clooney wants to know. Do you feel the same? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Is this burning an eternal flame? Eternal flame? What are you meeting a twin flame? It is a jackpot vibrational match. Okay. Excuse the voice, still a little raspy. <laughs> Best lover, vibrational match. I'm feeling tantric here too. Okay, so this person's going to get to know you. They want to know if you feel the same. They want to know if you're the commitment type for some of you. For some of you, he's like George Clooney. He didn't commit for a while. But I feel like you're it. Desiring you. Okay, so we have a friend desiring you. Okay, so you have a crush here. Or they're just, like, desiring to be in your presence. I know that sounds a little weird, but you know what I mean? Like, they want to manifest some kind of, you know, hanging out, going out for some of you. For some of you, you have somebody that, you know, they want to have a good time with you. Kind of, It's not quite friends with benefits, but, you know, who knows? I don't know. Take that out. Resonates. Ooh, computer love. I want to be your man. I want to be your man. <laughs> this king of wands ain't no joke. Okay. He might be another handsome one too. You make the king of wands nervous. Do you understand? Like this person's very attractive. So yeah, Brad Pitt indeed. Damn. Who the hell are you? A Capricorn. <laughs> These are some good, you got some good players here. <laughs> they want to travel to see you. So this is someone at a distance from you. They want to wine and dine you. I don't know, they caught your eyes somehow. We got computer love. Okay. Well then, what's with this maybe? Maybe no. <laughs> oh, okay, Capricorn. I see what you're doing here, right? You got the choice is yours. You're going to be like, mm, maybe, um, gold digger, uh, no. <laughs> what the hell? Wow, okay. Uh, you get to pick. You get to pick. I mean, you got some good suitors coming at you, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, Brad Pitt is a little traveler. He is a Sagittarius. You know, he likes being in commitment, but, you know, he's got a wandering eye. Let's be real. But he, I mean, you know, damn. Ocean's 11. So you're like Julia Roberts. Weren't they, like, both kind of interested in her in that movie? I don't remember. Hmm. Interesting energy. I absolutely adore you. Okay. <laughs> George Clooney, they want to know if you feel the same and they absolutely adore you. Hey, this is the one right here. But you got some choices. Damn, who would you choose between... I mean, I know George Clooney is vibrational match, and I'm not saying literally George Clooney. That's just an example, okay? Because I do feel like this is a Taurus. 
And then you got King of Wands energy, Sag you know, I'm feeling that Sagittarius vibe, that Brad Pitt energy. That's going to be tough. And, you know, then you got the hell no with the gold digger. We don't want none of that. And you got a friend over here. I'm not sure about this energy. I I'm getting, like, bisexual vibes also for some of you with somebody here. Could be a friend that maybe has a more of an interest. Uh, it could just be, you know, could be same sex or, you know, just a friend of yours opposite sex I don't know why I was getting that but that's what I was getting there but what I'm seeing here is you could just have a friend reaching out because they desire to go out to have a good time because maybe they're bored right now and they're they're like hmm, who should I call well I haven't seen this person in a while maybe I can hook up with them and see what we can you know what we can do here but somebody's watching you online this king of wands Oh, yes, they are. And it's like, you, know, you unforgettable. They couldn't scroll past your page. But they have to travel to see you. They want to wine and dine you. But you make the king of wands nervous. They are very handsome. This is going to be a shock with the tower. I don't know who's watching you. But it will be a shock. They're here to create chaos. This person sounds like a good time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They sound like they're a lot of fun. And then, you know, you got your soulmate that might come after all of this. Because um, I'm seeing like, okay, you're going to go out. And then you're going to get like, somebody's watching you online. It's like you have a sequence of events going on in July. Or it could be, you know, extended past your life for some of you. Damn. Yeah, somebody here wishes you would reach out. It would be a nice surprise. I feel like that's your friend because they're like, eh, I don't know if I should bother them. Yeah, you're going to get a message if you don't. And uh, yeah, oh, look at this booty call, never, jealousy. Wow. So yeah, you and George Clooney visit each other in the 5D, okay? Not literally George Clooney, okay? Mr. King of Pentacles over here. Then you got somebody that wants a booty call. Okay, watch out for that one. And then one that's like a hell no. We had never a no here. And somebody's going to be jealous. Somebody's going to be jelly. Probably the one you said hell no to. <laughs> Like, fine. Thank you all that. <laughs> yeah, gold digger anyway. We don't want you. All right. <laughs> Let's get into the Oracle Goddess Angel cards. I'm loving this reading, Capricorn, I have to say. You're going to have some fun in July. Oh, sorry about that. I needed some water. Oh, my goodness. My throat just got so dry. All right. Let's do two more shuffles, my guys. This reading's choking me up. Oh, my goodness. In a good way, though. <laughs> you can have whatever you like. <laughs> Who got that Libra, too? Libra had options galore. Oh, Abundantina, prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Almost oh, definitely. Yes. And for some of you, like I said, you have like a surprise coming towards you. Um, but you're going to be attracting some gold diggers as well. Okay. Sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. Yeah, you might need your spirit team to make a decision here. There you go, that inner goddess energy drawing him in. It's that magnetic aura. Inner goddess Aphrodite, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Mm -hmm. Let's get you some romance angel cards. Not that you need it. <laughs> you got plenty of love coming towards you. 
plenty. And one more. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So we got dance. We got being playful. I think spirit just wants you to be, you know, have a good time. You have a friend coming. I mean, I just feel like July is going to be a lot of fun for you guys. Most definitely. Yeah. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I feel like it's because you've been in this energy for some time. That's what I'm feeling there. Okay. And you might have to retreat for some of you to think about all this. <laughs> for sure. Um, I do want to use my Pentacles deck as to, you know, why you got somebody here. I mean, this could be the King of Pentacles. Like I said, he looks like he's um, financially stable and he could fear getting involved with someone that's just with him for the money. But I'm also getting unexpect, something unexpected coming towards you. Where you're going to have some fun. Oh, yes. One more shuffle. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my Pentacles deck. See what pops up here. Your ideas are worth pursuing. And we have collaboration here. Okay. Moving is on the horizon. Change, new town, new house. And we do have somebody traveling here. So if it's not you, it could be one of these people. And great investment, very fruitful outcome. So whatever you're investing in and what you're investing in requires research. Do your homework. So uh, well, obviously, if you're moving and investing in a home, you're going to be doing your research and it's going to be a fruitful outcome. Very good. And it's like somebody has this in their head is what I'm getting here okay we're not talking about career we're just talking we could some of you could be moving for career um, but for others of you it's like somebody's thinking about moving they're doing research and they're gonna make a great investment and they want to pursue you so somebody could be wanting to move closer to you if you're not the one moving It's time for a new wardrobe. All right. Somebody's getting so fresh and so clean. Clean. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, yeah. You are the catalyst of things to come. 333. Three, three. No need to change anything. Let it come to you. Magnetic pull. Oh, yeah. What did I say? That inner goddess. What was that? Oh, bottom of the deck. Let it come to you. Ooh. What do you got going on? I told you there's something coming out of the blue. Your first million for some. I don't know what that's about. Oh, it's a divine gift. Holy shit. Stability. Balance, security, solid foundation. Yeah, it's time for a vacation. Okay. I don't know what your what kind of investment this is, but it's a gift. That's not going to resonate for everybody. And we got jackpot over here. What the F? Yeah, you're going to need some help with what all this money. Some lawyers. A trust fund. I don't know, man. You, but you do have a gold digger coming at you. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, Capricorn. It's coming to you. Whoever resonates with this, you better claim this reading, okay? I mean, sure, you have admirers, 
you have prosperity yeah with your first million on the horizon attainable don't give up keep moving forward the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving yeah some of you are manifesting big time and there's coming at you I told you there are many things coming towards you the magician is here you're gonna be shocked not just with the king of wands and the king of pentacles but whatever investment you're making I just feel like you're gonna have the money to move for some of you and you're gonna be buying your new whole, whole new wardrobe a whole new life damn Capricorn <laughs> this is by far the best reading I've done so far I mean damn Um, do we need any more? Honestly, let me get you a fortune card. Okay. Holy crap. Hey, well, George Clooney need not worry because whatever you're working on. <laughs> You're going to have your own money, okay? Oh, you better claim this reading, Capricorn. Let's do one more shuffle, my guys. <laughs> like I said, you can have whatever you like. <laughs> Damn. Hard work pays off. Oh, wow. Jesus, you couldn't have had a better card here. Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Whew. You guys have must have got, been going through it. Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. I just feel like I need one more. Lovers, there are two paths ahead. Oh my God, be true to yourself. Holy shit. Wow, you just rose above some shit, okay? After, it says, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. So you're being blessed because you've been through a lot. And know that you are protected. It's like, mountain, move out of my way. Oh, where was that? Is that in the emerald tablets or is it in the can't remember anyways um as you face challenges but remain cautious definitely because you might have people coming at you wanting your money wanting to trap you because of your money uh, you might be getting pulled all kinds of directions here holy crap all right guys um, I don't really think that yeah chariot charge ahead with confidence stay strong and focused let me go ahead I'm gonna give you get you guys some Oracle cards here this is a really really good reading I mean yeah look at that manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance Let's do one more shuffle here and embrace. Through each other you find the missing pieces. I'm going to be thinking about this reading for the rest of the day. <laughs> like damn. Shout out. Okay. 
Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Mm. That's for one of these people here. But it, it seems like a mirroring, so I, I'm almost feeling like it's this King of Pentacles, okay? Duality kind of energy. So I feel like you guys are going to really get along and have a lot in common. But there could be like moments where you guys could like it's, it's like if they're in a bad mood or you're in a bad mood, they're going to pick that up and then be in that mood, that energy. Because it's a vibrational match. Let's see what else we got here. So you're about to be in a good mood, so let's keep it positive. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Deep down, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Do what feels right, Capricorn. Yeah, you're gonna need to take a step back and spend some time alone. We did have retreat there. Um, instead of placing your energy or focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. I feel like you're gonna have to retreat because of all this abundance and try to figure some things out I just feel like everything is coming and you're not gonna know which end is up and, and, and who to trust perhaps so keep it on the low whatever you got going on here financially um, because you don't want to attract you know the gold diggers be careful what you post online um, yeah, because damn, you're about to get a gift here that leads to stability, and you're gonna need some vacation time. Yeah, you're on a new career path for some of you. Huh. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments. It's hard to resonate with something you don't see coming. Okay, so I would say let me know if you resonate, but you're not going to see this coming. Um, so I would claim it <laughs> is what I would do. <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, looks like you're in a, a, July is looking pretty busy. Now again, you know how time is an illusion, energy is fluid, so this could be further on past July for some of you. And this ain't for everybody, I can tell you that much. So, I have to come back at the end of the month and comment <laughs> for some of you, okay? Or the end of um, August. Alright guys, I wish you the best. This is the best reading so far. So, love you guys and have a good time with these fellas or ladies, whatever this is, okay? And your friend wants to hang out, I think. So you're gonna you're gonna be having some fun. Let loose, let loose, Capricorn. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.